Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. So we're doing okay here. We uh, we are probably going to get targeted by a coalition or some point in the relatively near future here. Uh, so that's something that we're going to have to deal with. But for now, we're going to just sit back and try to take care of our um, our manpower and our overextension. So we're not going to get involved. Hopefully. You know, our allies like us. Let's get, let's get, make our allies like us a little bit better. Um, I really don't need the national unrest modifier. Sinway here is still our ally, even though they really don't want to seem to help us do anything. So yeah, the one thing we're going to need to do is let our, uh, our aggressive expansion reduce. So that's one of the things we're going to be going straight for. We can go up to speed four. The Solace have declared war on Pomerania. At this point, yeah, we're not going to be doing anything else. We don't need to expand in any direction. We need to get stronger. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing next is getting stronger. Um, we can get better boats, and we're going to do that because we should. Um, we got a tax bonus, which is one really nice thing. Um, we only have six boats. Because a bunch got sunk in our last war, if I remember correctly. Um, or do we already only have six boats? Do we always only have six boats? I think we always only had six boats. Okay, never mind. I'm just stupid. Uh, God damn you and your unlawful territory demands. Uh, which is going to make these guys more upset because they demanded unlawful territory. I fucking hate you. How come you can declare, you can ask for unlawful territory, but I can't remove these territories because I have a. Uh, Yep, there's somebody entering coalition against us. That's a problem. Yep, more people entering the coalition against us because of the unlawful territory demand. Um, because of that, actually, I'm going to stop improving relations with Corfu. And then we need to find uh, somebody else who just joined. Maybe uh, Naples. We'll improve relations with them. Hopefully get them to leave the coalition. But yeah, the coalition almost certainly is going to fire. Uh, hopefully, we'll be strong enough to defend ourselves. We're about to core Warsaw, which is good because that will reduce our overextension by a decent amount and should start making us some good money. Um, oh, Ottawa has entered the military coalition against us. So the courthouse would be really good in Danzig. So we're going to build one there. Training fields or armory. Put one there. And then training fields would be good in Krakow. I mean, everybody should have an earthen rampart. And then we'll, we'll rebuild our money a little bit here. Yeah, so I'm expecting this coalition to fire. Oh, good. Our, our uh, royal marriage with Ceylon ended, which is actually really good for us. Because uh, that should get rid of our, our too many whatchamacallits. It's I can insult Luwu, I think, here. Um, Get rid of that guy. Don't need that cardinal anyway. We're going to insult Luwu, which will give me a little bonus there. Beautiful. Um, Sarah Han has done that. Let's uh, get a little bit more papal influence. Where are we at here? We got a 22.2% chance of becoming the Pope. That's good, I think. We have a free diplomat. Let's use him somewhere. Um, Kano is the target of a coalition. Which it looks like they're fighting and they're in a coalition against us. These guys aren't in the coalition against us. That's good. You already hate me. That's fine. Ottawa's in the coalition against us. Tarsan is a vassal of Ryukyu. Naples is in the coalition against us. Korchin's also in the coalition against us. Let's um, improve relations with them as well. Hopefully one of these will actually... Um, actually help us out we're not too far oh we did get that hopefully we can get this aggressive expansion impact reduction soon 
Also, getting the next military um, idea is going to be really good because that's going to give us cannons and discipline bonus. So those are both really good. What are, what are our final idea bonus? Land maintenance modifier reduction. We'll also get better cannons. Cores become cheaper and trade becomes better. Okay, interesting. We gained 5 prestige. prestige. Serhan entered the Manchu. Kano has left the military coalition. That's good. Although these guys just all joined the coalition. We've cored Bohemia. Fantastic. I would like... I believe I still have one unit of men-at-arms. I do. So let's take care of that. I also probably can increase my army size. I can. So we're going to build... What's my total... What's my total army size right now? 939. So we're going to build... So we want to go... This is... We'll make a 10. One of those. Oh, that's all I can afford right now. We're going to get rid of one guy here, though. So let's get that taken care of. Get rid of that men of arms right now. Riazan has declared war on Pomerania. Okay. Oh, that cannon built real fast. So we'll take our one unit here and disband him. That's okay. We've cored our last province. It's also really good. Let's pause here for a second. So now we're at 10 3 10. Our force limit is 23 of 25. So we can go to 11 3 11, which I think is probably a good idea. So let's do that. Can we get this cannon? No, we can't afford it anywhere right now. Not making a ton of money. Almost able to afford it. Come on. And then I don't want to lower my manpower because of the, uh, or my, my, f my troop, uh, readiness level because of the almost certainly impending war against us. Which maybe was a mistake to build all those things then. Yeah, it'd be really good if we could get, like, one month of... A lowered manpower or a lowered maintenance. All right, so we're gonna build you 96 days. So actually, yeah, what I'm gonna do here once the uh, I'm really hoping this coalition goes away. Come on, guys, you you don't even hate me. You're still in the coalition. Come on, you like me now. You should leave the coalition. can't really do anything while they're in this coalition against me, which sucks. Alright, so we've, um, done that. Next thing I wanted, the next person I want to improve relations with, who's still on the coalition against me? Let's find out. Coalition map mode. Uh, so these are the countries that could join the coalition, but aren't currently in it. Kabu's in the coalition. Let's uh, improve relations with Kabu. Alright, so now we have a nice army. What I'm going to do is lower our military maintenance. All the way, not, yeah, we're going to go all the way down, which will give me 8 gold for one month. And we'll raise it back up. Oh, so we'll go all the way down no matter what. That's not good. I guess I'll get a few months out of it. Prove my trade efficiency while I can. And then I'm going to raise... My uh, my army maintenance here. Got 24 gold. Come on, let's go up. There we go. Get the army maintenance back up to full. I want this army to have full morale. ASAP. See, I can't remove these provinces because I have a truce with them, but they can demand the provinces back even though we have a truce. That's kind of bullshit. That's bullshit in my book. Um, I'm going to boost my stability, though. Oh, Kabu has left the military coalition. Lu has left the military coalition. That's good. The military coalition's getting weak. Um, 
Well, that's bullshit. I literally just raised this and then you guys lower it again. What a bunch of bullshit. I raise it again. Um. Yeah, okay. So things are going okay now. We're, we're stabilizing. We are stabilizing, and this is good. Who else do I want to improve relations with? That is a good question. That is the wrong map mode. Um. Korchin is still in the coalition against us. Let's improve relations with them. Or did I fully improve relations with them? I have. Stop improving relations with them. Let's start improving relations with... Hungary. Alright, we'll improve relations with Hungary. Cool. Sure, you can have military access, Commonwealth. I have 11, 3, 11. All right, cool. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're almost back to full manpower. What's our current mission? Uh, rebuild our manpower. Okay. Um, Pomerania apparently just went bankrupt. We just lost a bunch of manpower because the game hates us. Never discount how much the game hates you. Uh, let's get another bark. I built these guys to, you know, attack this guy, and then I never really got around to doing it. I just want to look at the country here. Yeah, everybody has a claim on that province. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get this attack going anytime soon against them, especially with everybody and their mother having, uh... Apparently Oman has just declared independence. So they just became independent from Corfu. Okay. Yeah, apparently everybody and their mother can't get over here. The Palatinate is uh, at war with the Commonwealth. We've lost a claim on Newmark, which is this province right here. That's fine. We still have a claim on Malbork, which will last another 19 years. We have a claim on Sarahan, which will last... Four more years, but that will probably get me a big old aggressive expansion penalty. And they're allied with my ally. Alright, well, what this... Beautiful, that's great. That This is really good, because we get the bonus discipline as well. Ryukyu has just rivaled us. Hungary has left our military coalition, though. That is good. Ryukyu has entered the military coalition against us because they rivaled us. That's a problem. That's a problem. Ryukyu, who are your allies? Venezuela, Sarohan, and Kanu. Um, so we'll recall our diplomat with Kabu. Are you still in this coalition against us even though you like us? It's because you're upset with us. Did our general just die? He did. Why can't I recruit a general? Because I don't have enough military points, of course. Well, we pretty much just uh, made everybody who's in the coalition against us like us. So that's good. That's really good that everybody that's in the coalition against us is pretty happy with us. These two countries, I'm okay with them being in the coalition against us. Let's uh, improve relations with Manchu. Yeah, so we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm very much. I was very much expecting the coalition war to fire. Um, join our main fleet here. Yeah, very much expected this coalition to fire, but uh, it is not. Which is very interesting. Um, well, bye bye money and diplo points. It was fun while I had you. How close am I to getting this next uh, idea? The scythe would be really good to get because it gives us forced march. We've been a lot closer if it wasn't for back to back. Uh... Oh, Ottawa has insulted us. That reminds me, I could probably insult somebody like Lu Wu. Um, so let's do that. Let's um. No reason to make these guys like us anymore. Oh, we already insulted them recently. Kano. 
Okay, just insulted Kano. That's good. Riazan is my other rival, but we have a truce, so insulting them won't make any sense. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we lost our thing like we always do. Um, this The coalition war has fired. Everybody joined. All my allies came in. That is really good for me. Um, I don't have a general. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. 2200 zero, zero. sucks, but whatever. Let's at least start fighting. Um, what's the risk on the Czech uprising? Not that far off. I'll probably vassalize one of these guys. I can't. Um, who am I all at war with? A bunch of people. I can't actually um, go to war with most of these guys because of the... Uh, Wait, did you just come fight me head up? Straight up? Because that seems dumb. Oh, there's another 19,000 men coming. That's okay. My own 14,000 men showed up. So yeah, I can't take much of these lands because I'll end up getting the same aggressive expansion penalty that I have right now. Um, so right now, I'm going to uh, recharge my own manpower here. I want to go to Seps. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head to Seps. Oh, they came for me. Come on, guys. I need your aid. Okay, we lost the battle. That's too bad. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Moldova. That's not a bad place to go. Where the hell is the American army? Who the hell are you at war with? Mawa and Riazan. God damn it, America. Well, I'm happy that my allies came to my defense. I'm not so happy that uh, we're losing um, the war. Hey, look, 9,000 these guys showed up. 9,000 Hisenwis showed up. Yeah, so Sezeps here is probably the best place to... Uh, Um, to, to hang out. Uh, because it's mountainous. Or it's highlandish, I should say. Not mountainous, it's highlandish. Oh, Miami has a civil war. That's good. Here comes the Corfuian army. Ryukyu got into another war. That's what I thought. That would be my, that was my guess based on the, uh, Based on what was going on here. UQ's military tech 9. Is that where they have that, um... Yeah, I'm only military tech 8. That's where they're getting some bonus from. I'm actually losing a decent amount of money, too. Did my fleet get sunk? No, it's still up. Oh, it's still okay. My fleet's still fine. Um... Oh, look. There's 41,000 dudes. Apparently, we're going to go all fight in uh, this province here. Come on. This should go a little bit better than it is. Alright, good. Let's get back into friendly territory. I'm okay with fighting in uh, Bohemia, assuming my allies all come to my defense, because I'm going to get a bonus here. A defensive bonus. Um, and then I should be able to come through here. We'll, we'll conquer... What I think the plan will be is to... Um, maybe take Hinterpommern or Brandenburg. I think either of those are not a bad idea. But we're going to end the episode here. So I thank you guys very much for watching. On the next episode, we will figure out how we're going to take care of all this crap. But until then, I will see you all... Next time!